During Albert Bierstadt's painting career in the late 19th century, he witnessed enormous changes in the American West. There are bison being slaughtered by the thousands. The numbers are in rapid decline. Native Americans are being forced onto reservations. Population numbers were in rapid change as immigrants were coming from all directions to the region we now know as the American West. Bierstadt bore witness to these changes, but he didn't only see them, he acted upon them in his own way. He joined early conversations about wildlife and habitat conservation and he also took up his feelings and his thoughts about these issues in his artwork. Most of us know Albert Bierstadt as an American landscape painter, but in fact, he was an immigrant. He was born in Germany grew up in Massachusetts and returned to Germany to study in Dusseldorf. When he came back from four years of study, he brought back with him a form of painting that was very theatrical. The landscapes were staged, they were freighted with psychology and emotion, and they were cued to impress the public and patrons with a sense of mythic grandeur. When he came back, he had to find a niche for himself, and that niche he thought might be the American West. He got his first opportunity to head west with Colonel Frederick Lander, who in 1859 was headed west himself to chart an overland trail to the Pacific Northwest, crossing through present-day Wyoming. The Oregon Trail was a busy place at that time. There were almost 20,000 people coming one way or another on the Oregon Trail. That's a lot of people. Part of the mission was assessing the native populations and how they were doing. They met the Sioux, they met the Pawnee, the Arapaho, and the Shoshone. Following his initial trips into the American West, Bierstadt was inspired to begin a series of immense landscape paintings. One of his first paintings was the Rocky Mountains Lander's Peak. It really illustrates Bierstadt's early and enduring interest in Native American cultures in the West. This painting shows a Shoshone encampment in the foreground just as prominently as it celebrates the landscape in the background. Lander had shown him how to bond with Indians and the Rocky Mountains Lander's Peak was his emotional response to them. He had a real affection for Indian people. He felt that they provided emotional security in this landscape that was so vast and incomprehensible. But his painting was criticized, saying that he shouldn't be incorporating Indian people in his landscapes. When it becomes unfashionable to portray Indians in your paintings, he moves to find a surrogate for that narrative element in his work, and that becomes the buffalo. Albert Bierstadt began to create paintings which addressed the dire situation of the American bison in the West and by extension, the plight of the American Indians. Bierstadt is witnessing these drastic changes in the West and he felt compelled to do something. In reappraising this art, we are reminded of the efforts by these 19th century artists to preserve the environment 
but also the people of the West, the Native American. It's about the moment in our history when we were trying to finally come to grips with preserving something instead of just totally exploiting it. And Bierstadt came to the realization that the West was not limitless.